Hey, Hickok 45 here. We've got an interesting little uh, little gun here, a recent offering from uh, Caltech. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's probably the only university that makes firearms, but I could be wrong. But it's a PMR 30. Fires a 22 Magnum. Quite a unique little firearm. You know, Caltech produces a lot of unique firearms, and uh, this is one of them. Holds 30 rounds in a magazine. Let me show it to you a little bit here, and then we'll take a few shots. Magazine holds 30 22 mag rounds. How's that for uh, for uh, capacity? And you know, if you've not seen the 22 mag rounds, they are they are 22 caliber, of course. Imagine that. They are a little longer. They are magnum and more powerful, a little more reliable, generally speaking, I believe, than 22 long rifle and short and, and those. But uh, that's what it's chambered for. And even loaded with 30, that magazine weighs almost nothing. It's polymer. And then the gun weighs almost nothing. I think it's a pound and three and a half ounces or something, uh, you know, fully, fully loaded. So, uh, blowback operation, you know, semi-automatic, of course. Got your fiber optic sights, uh, weighs nothing. 22 Winchester Magnum, you know, it's, uh, it's just a very interesting little gun. I've seen it advertised quite, uh, quite often over the last year. Came out in, uh, uh, it was made available at least in uh, 2010, I think around the fall of 2010, before it became uh, really available. And uh, you've seen ads for it maybe in a lot of the gun magazines. And, and you can't help but notice, you know, what? 30 rounds, you know, in the magazine. So that's, that's pretty interesting, isn't it? So we'll, we'll just try it. Uh, uh, this gun is on loan from uh, on target in Murfreesboro. I appreciate those fellows down there sending it my way. So uh, we're going to take a few shots with it. We had fired just a handful of rounds, and we had no problems uh, yet. We didn't fire it much, and uh, it's a very uh, unusual feel, I have to say. You ex you're expecting this recoil, which you don't get. You just get blast. So let's make some blast. <laughs> very interesting feeling. Oh, let's go ahead and try a two liter. I'm anxious to see what it does. I don't think I've shot one with a 22 Magnum. Woo. Of course, as always, it depends on where you hit them. There's a uh, 12 ounce right there. There we go. I'm not sure where to hold yet. Let me try an eight inch plate. I'll give you an idea where to hold. Okay. Pretty much is right on at this distance. <laughs> All right, that's a phantom target. Let's try again. There we go. Maybe it's not right on, or maybe I'm not right on. <laughs> Pretty neat. Wonder how many rounds are left. Oh, just one little round. Well, I see a little coke. I probably can't hit him because I don't have this thing, you know, zeroed in yet. Uh, that little coke hiding in the top of the tree there. Yeah, I'll have to try him again, I guess. All right, so it's empty, finally. Doesn't take long to shoot 30 even, does it? But that's a pretty interesting little gun. Notice the, the mag catch is right there. Kind of like the old European style. Uh, not a problem. You know, really, you're not going to be doing a lot of speed loading, I guess, for 30 rounds, depending on what you're using it for. And uh, you have the safety right there, kind of 1911 style. So you got her cocked, ready to go. Thumb the safety off. Bang. It has a, a nice trigger. Up, up, plus, it's an ambidextrous safety. You notice that? Pretty cool. It has to be cocked before it will engage, I notice. There you go. It's ambidextrous safety. And uh, what was I saying? Oh, yes, the trigger is remarkably good. It, it's, a, it's a nice trigger. It's a clean break. Listen. Yeah, let's take the safety off. <laughs> you can't tell, can you? But it, it, take my word for it. It's a nice trigger. It's one of the things you will see complimented in the reviews of this gun and with Just Calls. It's, uh, it's pretty good. And it's almost all polymer, you know. Of course, the barrel is not polymer, 
but uh, the slide up here and uh, of course the barrel and everything the action there the key parts are steel but boy the rest of it's made of plastic polymer excuse me quite a difference there huh at least in the sound of it so uh, like I say this is uh, you know Caltech is uh, famous for producing some innovative firearms I've really not owned a lot of Caltech uh, you know the PF9 which I still have is about it I guess and I have noticed some very interesting firearms. I've got a shotgun that's pretty, uh, pretty interesting as well, don't they? And some others. But uh, I, I've been anxious to shoot this gun. Every time I see it advertised, I think I would like to try that. I've, I've never been a necessarily huge fan of the 22 Magnum. I have no problem with it. I know a lot of people. It has kind of a cult following. Not that you're in a cult if you have one. But it does have kind of a cult following. I, I have friends that you know, they'll talk about a 22 Magnum bolt-action rifle they have, you know, or something that, I mean, they wouldn't let go for anything, uh, you know, maybe for varmint hunting or just whatever, squirrel hunting or something. It's a nice little cartridge. It's got some, got some uh, pizzazz to it. It really does. And there are people, even so-called experts, quote-unquote, who uh, don't turn their nose up entirely at the 22 Magnum for self-defense. You know, if you are extremely recoil sensitive or somebody just is not going to shoot anything that has any recoil well, I mean you could do worse you know 22 short you could do worse than 22 magnum you know beats a big stick probably so it, it does have some zip to it and uh, a little 40 grain bullet really uh, zips along so and especially if you have 30 of them in uh, in the gun it comes with two magazines and I purchased another one uh, just so we'd have three for the videos and everything. Uh, and they're not exorbitantly expensive. You know, sometimes, you know, especially for a, a strange bird like this, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw one of these hanging on the wall somewhere for $75. You know how magazines can be expensive, but it was just 25 or something like that. So that's not too bad. They're uh, polymer. They don't weigh anything empty. They don't weigh much when they're full. So let's uh, take a few more shots with it. Uh, one thing I want to do, we got through those uh, 30 without any malfunctions, didn't we? Okay. Not that I'm assuming it's going to. It's just such a strange gun. I don't know what to expect. I'm going to move up a little bit, and I'm going to, I'm going to try to hammer the, the tombstone there. Let's see if it'll handle some uh, rapid fire, at least as rapid as I can fire and, and hit anything. It's just amazing how light it is. All right, let me get zeroed in here. Let's take the safety off, it always helps. Okay. Yeah, we had a little malfunction, I think. You know what I think that was, actually? It was a light primer, or a light strike, perhaps. Try again. My finger's tired. I can't shoot anymore. You know, I don't guess I, uh, I might have released the magazine because, you know, nothing came out or anything. I might have done that. I noticed earlier when I was messing around with it, I was, uh, what was I doing? I was trying to put the safety on. I had the gun just, or just like this, and I was pushing up on it. It was not cocked, so you cannot engage it. So I was having to put more pressure on it, and in the process of doing that, I did uh, release the magazine. That's, that's easy to do. Right there, if you're squeezing the lower end, maybe it's because of my large hand. Uh, nah, not really a big negative, just just something I noticed there. Thought I'd point out, oh, just did it. I'd point out to you. Uh, so if you're being attacked, you know, be sure you don't just turn it down like that and put your palm in that position and push on the safety. Uh, how many rounds do we have left here? We got a few. Let's try the gong. Well, I'm not sure I can hear when it hits it. Maybe you will. So I have to hit it first. I hear the ring, I think. <laughs> I believe I hit it a couple times. I uh, am empty again, of course. So uh, it is gong worthy, it appears. And uh, it really is strange because it doesn't, it doesn't uh, recoil, you know, at all. Just enough to operate the slide, and that kind of thing. So we're gonna take a couple more to gong. That wasn't enough. 
Okay. What am I not doing? We're all learning together. Put the magazine in. Safety is off. Wonder if it'll. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. You know what that might have been? Let's try that again. Let's take that slot round out. It might be. And slide locks back. Let's just test it here. Live TV, right? Okay, I had to put a new two mag in, new mag, and the safety is not engaged. Okay, it worked. I don't know what was going on before. I thought maybe it was uh, designed so that you could not put the next round in unless the safety was on. Thought I might have made a big discovery there right on camera. All right, false alarm. Let's try the gong again. Okay, I think I heard some ringing. I believe I see a couple of hits on it, so looks like it'll reach out all right. I'm gonna go back to this Coke here, or soft rank, the smart aleck I missed before. The top there. There we go. <laughs> all right, here's a couple right here. I'm going to try to wound this guy, see what happens on the left shoulder. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got another one down there. The one that sometimes turns into a fountain. Ah, yes. That's our official fountain. <laughs> pretty nice, pretty nice. Finish him off. Sweet, sweet. Let me try a plate again. Left plate, anywhere to hold. Hmm. Yeah, you could really pump out the rounds with this thing if you wanted to. It's uh, no recoil, like I say. I'm gonna load just a couple more, uh, just to show you. Actually, John loaded up those mags before we were messing around. It loads kind of like a rifle magazine. You got a little uh, lip there, so you got a little cut out. As long as you get the rim in there, and then you want to push them back. It tells you in the manual that uh, you want to, after every four or five rounds, you want to, you know, slap it against the table or something, against your helmet. All right? There's one in the case. So, uh, but we really didn't have any trouble loading the magazines, uh, from what I'd heard and some other reviews and in the. Uh, manual i was not looking forward to loading the magazine it sounded like it was going to be really kind of difficult but uh, there's a few more rounds there hey, let's put a couple more in. what the heck we're here to shoot i've always thought the 22 magnum was an interesting uh little round you know it's so long uh, quite different from your standard 22 even long rifle isn't it? got some got some size to it a lot of interesting uh, cartridges in 22 caliber. You know, everything from a 22 BB short to this, to 22 Hornets, and the uh, 5.56, the 223. You know, so 22 cartridge can uh, can uh, be in a lot of different power factors. Let's take a couple more with it. Well, uh, I guess we've not had a hang up really yet. We had that one little little thing. I may have uh, actually released the, the magazine on that one without meaning to. Now here's this happening again. Uh, there we go. Oh well. The gremlins. Uh, let me see. Let me try the coffee can for once. And Mr. Cowboy. That's nice. That's right. Pretty much where I was trying to hit him. And uh, I can see how if you shot this a uh, hundred times, a couple hundred times, you get a real good feel for it. Uh, just, just like shooting a 22 long rifle. No recoil. Uh, just a, a soft shooting gun. Rather loud, but soft shooter. 
So anyway, uh, the PMR 30 is a pretty interesting firearm. I, I can't uh, can't say I've noticed anything really negative about it at this point. It feels pretty good in the hand. Has a nice large grip. Has a kind of a triangular shape. Uh, I'm not sure I'm crazy, totally crazy about the grip, but it, you know it, it feels okay. And uh, main thing is it seems to be fairly reliable. And we'll we'll shoot it some more, and then uh, maybe even do another video with it. Uh, so uh, we'll we'll know more about it as we move on along with it. So the PMR 30. Quite an interesting gun from uh, Caltech, and uh, glad you could join us today at the compound to uh, try it out. Life is good.